Uh, this is the Australian native yam, so known as pencil yam. Uh, it's been growing in the mulberry tree. It's been growing in a pot and climbing the mulberry tree uh, for about a year now. It's meant to kind of uh, hibernate a little bit in winter, but it slowly grew through winter and uh, now it's a year later. I was hoping to get uh, seeds. I was hoping for it to flower. It hasn't flowered. And while I was investigating, I noticed that it slumped a lot in the pot that it was in. And I thought, uh, I might as well have a closer look. And I've snapped most of the vines um, in the investigation. I'm wanting to get to the tubers anyway. And I'm just scraping out the dirt now. And you can see the top of the pencil yams, the native yams here. Uh, they are very thin, quite brittle too. I'm just uh, digging the dirt out from around them. The uh, Here's the uh, part of the snapped tube bar. This is part of the snapped tuber. Uh, I've had a bit of a bite on it. Get around the grit. Hmm. That's actually nice. It's um, there's no real overpowering flavour at all. Um, there must be a slight bit of sweetness in it. Um, slightly nutty in some sense, but it's not like peanuts or any particular type of nut I can uh, put my finger on. Um, there's nothing unpleasant about it. It's very nice, actually. I can see why they uh, were uh, highly sought after. Uh, so here they are, uh, poking out. I've, as you see, I've scraped the dirt back. The soil line was down to about here. Um, which is why I started harvesting and uh, I think I'd put about uh, six in here at the beginning maybe seven uh, they had a few problems there was a rodent nibbling away at them um, they always seemed to strike back they had uh, enough energy in their bulbs or tubers whatever you want to call them um, to uh, to strike again and and get uh, new growth uh, I'm going to clear a bit more of a way, see if I can keep a long line of it running. You can see this one here is a twisty one. Very healthy root growth. I'll keep on digging. Oh, it's all empty. Here's the harvest here. Uh, I'll pull one out. This one I'm actually going to pop back in. Because I can, uh, I can tell at this stage that um, a plant like this, I believe, will go well in its second year. It will go very well in its second year. Uh, you see, it's established uh, bulb network, or its its root network, in thickened up its bulb, and now it's shooting off a whole lot of uh, new guys. So that tells me pop them back in. I might not crowd it up as much. I might just uh, get a second lot running in two pots, but I might dedicate this pot just to see what this uh, this lone guy here does. I probably won't help myself. I'll probably end up putting a, another seedling in. Uh, it tastes great. It tastes very nice. Uh, this is not a high yield, I don't think. I'd say after two years you probably get uh, a pretty impressive yield, but so this is going to be a long running one. You see any of these roots have uh, new growth. It can get pretty thick in, in, in places here. Uh, there's the freshly snapped uh, tuber. And uh, you see up here at the end too is growing new uh, new growth off the end of its old uh, tuber there. So there's that one I popped back in, that guy. 
this one and these so all of them all of them grew some of them grew faster than others uh, classy doing it on the wheelie bin lid it's what's close by but well there it is I've uh, thrown probably around uh, 50 grams of um, tuber back in bulb whatever it's called back in and uh, this is what's left you can see that it's a combination of old and new regrowth on this particular big guy here there we go you see where it snapped off. I snapped it there for a taste. It actually does taste of mildly a peanut. It's very, um, very non-intrusive taste. It's quite pleasant, slightly sweet, uh, crispy uh, flesh. Uh, I can't say too much more about it other than very enjoyable. Uh, that's the same piece. It's just your growth coming off that there. I'm very tempted to put this back in the ground to get a whole lot more. Here's your standard looking petrol yam there. Long, thin, they can go much longer than that. But there you go.